do I need a mixer for my home studio? I'll bet when a lot of people picture a studio space, one of the first images they see is like a big fat mixing console with all the faders and the knobs. And that's where the engineer sits and makes adjustments and basically records the band or the track. So many people, when they're setting up a studio space, kind of assume that they're going to need at least a little mixer to record whatever they want to record. And if you have like a smaller operation coming from your house or bedroom, the usual answer to the question, do I need a mix? in my space would usually be no. If you got a computer on deck, what you really need is a interface or a sound card. So let me explain. Uh, back in the day, if you were recording a band or multiple sources at the same time, you'd plug your microphones or whatever else into your mixer and adjust the settings of each individual sound and then take those microphones and individual sounds into a separate machine like a tape deck or something to record the audio into, right? The mixer doesn't actually record anything it's like the uh it's like the organizer of the audio you can basically plug multiple sources into this thing make the necessary adjustments and eq and level and then send it off to speakers or a tape machine or whatever else right i would say in most modern scenarios if there is some kind of computer or electronic device that you're going to record your audio onto no you don't really need a mixer because nowadays most recording software has a mixer a digital mixer built into itself to organize your audio and adjust level and all that. The missing piece of the puzzle is if you do have multiple microphones, if you're recording a drum kit or something, you need some sort of device to plug those cables into and your computer doesn't usually have that on deck, right? So an interface is basically an external sound card that'll take these analog signals, turn them into digital for your computer to understand. No longer do I need to have a mixer that goes into something else to record the audio. No, I just need inputs to put into my computer. So something like this, or something like that is basically just the way to get these musical type connections into your digital audio workstation. And then once that audio is recorded, then you can assign whatever recording to whatever track and adjust the levels in the digital mixer, in the mixer on the screen, right? And it's not like out of the question to use a mixer. Say you just have a, like a two channel interface like this and you wanna plug eight microphones into it. A mixer can kinda like, you wouldn't be able to separate the, the tracks, but you can technically use a mixer to take a bunch of signals and put them into left and right tracks. The only problem is that you can't adjust individual tracks now. All of them are printed into one track. So if I want to adjust my snare drum and not the kick drum after I've recorded it, now you got to nail it the first time when you're using the mixer and adjusting levels and then record it once it's perfect. Some mixers have really nice particular sounds that you can use, but it's certainly not necessary when you can emulate a lot of those sounds on software and use the EQs on your software and use the compression on your software. If you're the type of person who wants to make those tactile adjustments with your hands and you want to actually feel the faders going up and down and you want to actually turn the knobs, there are devices that that look like mixers, but they're controllers basically. And when you adjust the fader in real life, the fader in the software moves. And if you adjust the fader in the software, the freaking fader in real life moves, you know? So you can more or less have the exact experience of riding a fader or using a mixer in a traditional sense with a software controller. In the back of this thing, you don't plug anything into except for USB that just goes to your computer. You'll still need something to put your signals into to send to your software mixer to use this guy, you know? And if you're gonna record something like eight different channels at the same same time, I would say it's better value to get a large interface than to get a large mixer and send them send all the channels to two tracks, you know? Alright, that's it for now. Take care guys. See you later.